No. Look, the state conduction. Steady state conduction through a plane wall. Okay. Now this is a very simple topic. Let me draw a wall like this. Okay, this is a wall. The thickness of this wall is let us say L. The thickness of this wall is L. Temperature on this side is T1. Temperature on this side is T2. So as we know the basics of heat transfer that heat always flows from higher higher temperature to lower temperature so this means this is the direction of flow of heat okay so heat enters from this phase and exits this phase okay and it flows from t1 to t2 because t1 is clearly greater than t2 okay so for this we would uh, invoke fourier's law that is the governing law for conduction okay you would have q is equal to minus k a t2 minus t1 by l this is the value of heat transfer rate through this wall okay so now if i go through the individual terms this is the heat transfer rate okay that would be in kilojoule per second and kilojoule per second is also termed as kilowatt okay this thing is called thermal conductivity okay this is the basics that you should be know but it is always worth repeating these concepts during any video when you are based when, when you are actually starting the topic the term a is the area which is perpendicular to the flow of heat okay so if you this is the area that we will take so this is the area which is perpendicular to the direction of flow of heat and t2 minus t1 is basically the temperature difference l is the thickness of the wall okay now thermal conductivity in this case is assumed to be a constant value okay it is assumed to be a constant value now what if what if the thermal conductivity varies and is not a constant value this means it will vary with temperature because the temperature is varying and due to which there is a heat flow so if the thermal conductivity is a variable and it varies according to temperature then you will have a relation k is equal to 1 plus beta into t Okay, this is the relation that you would have. Now, the uh, profile that the temperature variation takes, if you look at the profile above, if you look at this profile, this is a linear profile. So the heat flux is varying linearly with temperature change. Okay, but when you have A variable thermal conductivity the variation of the temperature with respect to the length will be dependent upon the value of beta okay whether beta is zero whether beta is positive or whether beta is negative so this is a parameter which will depend which will determine the shape of the variation of temperature with respect to the thickness of the wall that is the temperature gradient so if you draw the wall over here and this is we are taking the account of variable thermal conductivity this is t1 this is t2 if it is a straight line ok 
okay it can be a curve like this it can be a curve like this when it is the upper kind of curve for this beta is always positive for a straight line beta is always zero and for the lower kind of curve beta is always a negative value so this is how thermal conductivity varies with respect to temperature and k naught is the thermal conductivity at zero degrees celsius okay moving ahead so when we have this kind of conductivity that is a variable conductivity then the heat flow equation would become it is worth noting k naught by al divided by t2 minus t1 plus beta by 2 into t2 square minus t1 square so this is the relation that you need to remember for steady state heat conduction through a plane wall having variable thermal conductivity okay i think that's quite easy just remember this formula as it is uh, where it came from and uh, this is something that we don't require for get a gate point of view because you will get only multiple choice or fill in the blank kind of questions the derivation part is left for the examinations like UPSC engineering services where you should know how to derive the question or how to derive the expression okay <laughs>